Hi everyone. Let us discuss this result. So in this result, we have a matrix space XD, A subset of X. What we have P belongs to A dash. It means P is a limit point of A and we have to prove that there exists a sequence of distinct points of A. Okay, there exists a sequence of distinct points of A, which is converging to point P. This thing we have to prove. So let us start with the given information. We have P belongs to A dash. That means that is P is a limit point of A. So let me show it here in a diagram. Okay, so suppose we have this point P, which is a limit point of A. So we have to find out a sequence of distinct points of A, which is converging to point P. Okay, so we start with the definition of limit point. You are already familiar with the definition of limit point. Let me write here. So therefore, for every r greater than 0, B, P, R minus singleton P intersection A is not equal to 5. So by definition of limit point, we can write this and this is true for every r. So here we can take r is equal to 1. Let us take r is equal to 1 here for r is equal to 1. Tell me what can we write for r is equal to 1. Here we can write 1. So B, P1 minus singleton P intersection A is not equal to 5. That means if you draw an open ball, okay, with center P and radius 1, let me show it here. Suppose this is an open ball with center P, uh, radius 1, then and if you remove P from that ball, then intersection with A is non-empty. Getting You can easily see intersection of this ball with A is non-empty. So intersection is non-empty. So that's why we can find one point, at least one point from that intersection. So therefore, let me write, therefore, we can choose, we can choose X1 belongs to BP1 minus singleton P intersection A. Okay, so for R is equal to 1, we got this one. We can repeat the same thing for R is equal to 1 by 2. Since it is true for every R greater than 0, so we can take R is equal to 1 by 2. Let me write it here. Okay, we have some space, so let us use. So for R is equal to half, R is equal to 1 by 2. What can we write using this one? B, P, 1 by 2 minus singleton P intersection A is not equal to 5. So that means here what we are doing, we are considering a ball with center P again, but radius is half this time getting. So we have a small ball around P. So again, intersection of that ball minus singleton with A is non-empty. So again, we can find some point. Here we got X1. Here we can find some point X2 belong to that intersection. So therefore, let me write. Therefore, we can choose. So we can choose. What can we write? x2 belongs to this open ball minus singleton p intersection a such that i am writing such that x2 is not equal to 1 that means we have to select some another point we should not consider the same point x1 getting so we have to consider another point other than x1 definitely it is possible tell me why because it is true for every r greater than 0. So definitely for any intersection, okay, so such type of intersection, we can find some point x2 other than x1, okay. So yes, we wrote for r is equal to 1 by 2. See, similarly, we can write for r is equal to 1 by 3 also. Will you tell me what can we write for r is equal to 1 by 3? B, P, 1 by 3 minus singleton P intersection A is not equal to 5. Again, we will have some, okay, let me show it here. So now we will consider a ball with center P and radius 1 by 3. We will have a small ball, but again, an intersection will be non-empty. So we can find point X3 from that intersection, which is different from X1 and X2. Such choice of points is possible because this one, since it is true for every R greater than 0. Okay, so let me simply mention and so on and so on. Okay. So now we will write in general for r is equal to 1 by n. See, there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So now for r is equal to 1 by n, what can we write? Open ball with center p radius 1 by n minus singleton p 
intersection A not equal to 5. So again, we will have intersection non-empty. Non so we can find some point Xn belongs to that intersection. So therefore, we can choose, we can choose, what can we write? We can choose Xn belongs to BP1 by N minus singleton P intersection A such that, such that Xn is different it's different from x1, x2 and so on, xn minus 1. So each time we are selecting a different point. It is quite possible since as I told you earlier, this is that statement was true for every r greater than 0. So that's why we can choose such points. Okay. So and so on and so on. So that means we can repeat this procedure for infinitely many times. So in this way, what we are doing? We are generating sequence, getting having terms x1, x2, x3 and so on. You can easily see x1, x2, x3 and so on. So such sequence is obviously converging to that point P. Okay, so let me write it properly. So therefore, therefore, we get a sequence xn. Okay, since we are calling x1, x2 and so on, xn and so on. Sequence xn of distinct of distinct. Why I'm saying distinct? Since we are selecting point x n such that which is different from previous n minus 1 point. So that's why I'm calling it as distinct points. Okay. Of distinct points of a. Distinct points of a since each time we are selecting points from the intersection with a. Obviously, th these points are elements of a. Okay. In di this diagram also you can easily see of a such that such that xn belongs to open ball with center p radius 1 by n minus singleton b but no worry I, I will simply mention xn is not equal to p since p is that point p is removed from that ball so obviously xn is not equal to p so what it means let me write it here okay so what it means so therefore distance of xn comma p so you know that if any point lies inside a ball then distance of that point from the center of ball is less than its radius so that's why we can say this is less than 1 by n okay and 1 by n goes to 0 as n tends to infinity you know that 1 by n tends to 0 as n tends to infinity so therefore distance between xn and p goes to 0 as n tends to infinity distance of point xn okay and p is goes to 0 that means sequence xn converges to point p so therefore, xn converges to p, getting? So what we got here, we get a sequence xn of distinct points of a such that xn converges to p. So in this way, we prove this statement or this theorem, okay? So make a screenshot of it, proof is over here, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.